Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an acid techno sequence that I made in Toxic Biohazard. This kind of reminded me of the Matrix or Mortal Kombat or maybe even both, but anyway, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so let's dive into this. First things first, let's turn off our effects. So I have the blood overdrive and some compression on the channel. Let's turn those off and the reverb here and the delay. So let's turn off the other oscillators here and look at the first one. So the first one is going to be a saw. It's gonna go 100% into our mix and minus 50, which means all the way in the left-hand side. And then the next one is gonna be a saw detuned by five cents and then all the way in the right-hand side and 100% in the mix. The third one is going to be a square, detuned one octave, so down 12 semitones, and only 80% in the mix. And the last two is going to be on noise four, and these are both going to be up two octaves, so up 24 semitones, and both 100% in the mix. But with these ones, it's going to be minus 25 to the left, and then plus 25 into the right. So those two just by themselves sounds like this. Kind of fills out that top end a little bit, that twanginess maybe. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the envelope. So the master attack is all the way off, decay, sustain, and release are all the way at the top. And then on the oscillators themselves, the attacks are going to be at 0.1. So basically an instant attack. The de decay is going to be 0.84 on the first one, 0.9 on the second, 0.912 on the third, and then uh, decay 0.937 and 9 through 7 on the last two. So the decays are a little bit different and the release is all the way at the bottom here. So it ends pretty quick. It's basically going to be the effects that kind of carry on that sound a little bit. So let's move on to the unison here. So I have five voices here. The detune is 20% and then the pan is 100%. So without this, it would it'd sound like this. Number five. So it's gonna open it up a little bit here. So next up, what we're gonna do is gonna look at the filter here. So with the filter envelope, I have the attack at 1.043 seconds, and then the rest are all the way gonna be at the top. The envelope amount is gonna be minus 64. So if it wasn't on there, it's a little too much. So that kind of keeps it, uh, kind of tightens it up a little bit. Next, we have the LFO one, which is going to be this sign right here at sync at 2.4. And exaggerated is do basically doing this. So it's kind of moving the sound, but if it's too much, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. So if we drag this down to 50% here, like this, it kind of moves it a little bit. The cutoff is going to be at 62%, resonance at 74, and key tracking at 49. So the resonance really with acid stuff is really that makes that sound shine. If it's all the way at the bottom, we kind of lose the whole acid vibe. So really dialing in that resonance is really what makes the meat potatoes of this kind of sound. Next, we have the EQ on here. And I have, I didn't touch the 62, the 125 is minus five, the 250 is minus six. And then I think that I left the rest alone except for these top ones here. So 2000, 2.3 up, and then 4000, 2.2, and then 6000 is alone. So basically cutting out that lower end uh, kind of mud stuff and then bringing up the highs just a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more audible. <laughs> So now to make this cool type of sequence, let's dive into the sequencer that really makes the magic happen. So in this main page, dive over to SEQ, so the sequencer. And basically what's happening here is we have 0, 10, 12, 0, 10, 12, so on, so forth. So that's basically going to be the distance of the notes that's going to hit. So 0, wherever you hit your note, the next one is going to be 10 semitones up. And then the following note is going to be an octave from your first one. And it just kind of repeats, so on, so forth. <laughs> 
So that's what basically makes that sequence. And what's actually kind of interesting what I did, so just so it doesn't sound so repetitive, this little random button here can be automated. So if we go to our playlist here, this sequence random is going to go on right before, so there's four bars and on the fourth bar, it goes on random. So it's not so repetitive. So check this out. Watch this random knock here. Once this goes up, then it goes back to normal. Random, then back to normal. Because sequences can be very cool, but sometimes they sound very repetitive and it's like, that's all they do. So kind of messing around with the random is very cool because it just hits the notes in a random order and then it goes back to what it's supposed to be. So it kind of goes back to something familiar. So diving back into this patch, let's turn on the effects and let's talk about those. So the first one is going to be the delay here. And for this one, the time is going to be 50%, sync at 1.4, feedback at 60, rate 24, depth at 20, and then the blur is all the way 100%, which for this patch, I think the blur feature sounds very cool. So minus, uh, or 46% for the mix. So this is the difference with the blur here. If it was normal. So very predictable delay, but as we move this up, it kind of, I don't know exactly how it makes it sound like that, but it feels right for this patch. And then we also want to have the reverb to make it a little bit bigger. The decay is going to be at 50%, the high cut at 26%, dampening all the way 100%, and then the mix at 47%. And next up, the last couple things is going to be the overdrive here. So let's turn this on. And the mix of this delay is going to be at probably, I guess, preamps 0.3299. The color in the middle, preband off, post filter off, and then post gain at about minus 0.33. And the very last thing is just some, some compression. You don't necessarily have to use this compressor, but this is the one I felt like I used for this one. And that's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. It sounds very cool. And yeah, you can put it under really anything. So I hope you learned something. If you like the patch, like the video, click the thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.